am your legendary commander and welcome to Desert of Karak. Um, what I'm going to show you today is basically you want to be able to do this with your stream, but you don't want to use, and pardon, I haven't fixed that key yet, but you don't want to use this, arrow keys. Who pans their screen with arrow keys? And actually, today, who also uses their mouse to pan their screen? Because we all use these days, this is modern. Everything modern today is W, A, S, and D. You want to scoot over here, W, A, S, and D. And this is probably your biggest gripe about the game. You might have a gripe about the zoom, but the zoom isn't such a big deal if you could just be a little more mobile. So how would you fix that? Well, it's actually really simple, but we do have to leave the game to fix these problems. Uh, it doesn't take anything special. You don't have to be a programmer. You just have to follow directions here. It's not hard. All right, guys, so the first trick to solving your problem in Desert Zakarak of being able to pan your screen or even just change other keys is to right click on Desert Zakarak in Steam or find it in some other way, basically. But normally you're going to play this on Steam, probably. You're going to browse local files. This is going to bring up a folder like this one right here. It says Desert Zakarak, and it's going to bring up this stuff for you. You're going to want to go ahead and find out. Go to out. You're going to go to cloud. Then you're going to come in here and you're looking for custom dot hotkeys. When you click on that, uh, your screen may come up something similar to that. It may do something else. I always unclick that. Click notepad. That is just so you can open it up. You just need notepad, which all computers have it. And then you're coming down looking through this. So once you're in here, don't scroll through it and try to find the commands. The first thing you want to do is use the control F key. This is going to bring up notepad's find feature, which you're going to use to find the key bindings. To find the pan buttons, just type in the word pan and it should take you to pan. Make sure to type it in correctly. And if you have it on case sensitive, make sure to disable that temporarily while you're looking for these keys. You'll notice it took us right to pan. Now I have actually reprogrammed these keys. That's how I figured out how this works. You can see my pan up, down, left, right. Uh, all that is WASD now. Before it used to say left arrow, right arrow, up arrow, down arrow. That's what it used to say. All you have to do is change those. Make sure to use a capital letter when you reassign these keys. If you do not reassign these keys with a capital letter and do a lowercase, these buttons will not work. You must do capital letters. Now that we have changed our pan buttons, we need to reassign some other keys because we have interfered with our other keys. The easiest way to do that is to bring up the Control F menu, which is the find feature again in Notepad. So once you have it up, you're going to type in equals A or equals W or equals S or equal D. The reason why you want to type equal is it's going to narrow down your search a lot. I didn't do that in this video, and that meant I had to look for them a little harder because I was only typing capital W, capital S, and so on and so forth with a case match to make it as accurate as possible. When you do this, also search for one letter at a time. This is going to make sure when you reassign keys as well as while you're looking for them that you find all of just that one. You can always scroll back through later and search again. The other thing is you want to make sure you're not accidentally reassigning your D keys and your A keys to the same button because you're typing the wrong letter in and then everything's all mixed up and messed up. Do one key at a time. Once you find the letter A in your keyboard, you're going to want to reassign it to a letter on your keyboard. Once you find the letter S, you're going to want to reassign it to one of the other letters that I listed off or another letter on your keyboard. Make sure not to lay these over other keys that you would be pressing in game if you use the hotkeys. Now I'm making a crucial mistake here. I'm trying to add control A, control S, control W, and control D. The reason why is I was trying to make it much simpler so I didn't have to relearn keys by what they do. This doesn't work. So as you are reprogramming the key, make sure to do equals M equals N or equals K or equals I. Any of those letters, you're just going to have it say equals that letter. Make sure it is capital. That way the letter is used. The reason why we use these letters is because these letters are not used when you do the search feature. If you search for these letters, they don't come up at all. Now, the last thing you need to remember to do is to save the file. If you don't save the file, you don't get this. None of this works. And you may have to restart your game. Sometimes when you save it, the keys work automatically. Other times when you save it, the keys don't. So make sure to save your file. Just go to File, Save. Don't go to File, Save As. Just File, Save. 
Now, once you close the file, or you can leave it open, that way you don't have to lose everything if for some reason something didn't get saved, despite the fact you changed it. Uh, I leave my file open when I'm messing with it, that way if I need to make edits afterwards, I can just go right back to it. Now we're going to go back into the game and use our scrolling feature as if we didn't reassign those other keys, but did reassign the pan screen. This is what happens. Now, for some people, this may not be a problem. These two menus that pop up, you can essentially right click and click them off, but they might also find this very annoying as they flick up on the screen every time you try to scroll sideways when you're clicked on a vehicle. So now let's look at it at the perspective as if you did rearrange those keys. We can see here we're now panning around with the carrier selected, making sure the carrier selected. We can still pan around. However, this access to this button is accessed by pressing my N key, if I am correct. My K key is my all stop key. However, when assigning keys, I did find one key got disabled when assigning keys, but to me it wasn't a big deal because I still technically have access through the main screen. Uh, my D key, the one that deploys fighters, did get disabled. So I will no longer be able to use my D key or whatever key I assigned it to. I believe it was the N key, but none of my keys would bring up the bomber menu. Even with that said, I am far more combat effective now than I ever was before. I can pan the screen and use my mouse at the same time so I can select, slide over, and click on the target I want. I have become excessively more combat effective at a game that I was actually struggling at. Mainly because of the inability to navigate the screen how I'm used to. So in theory, you could remap all your keys if you'd like. Unfortunately, the menu is not going to show it. If you try to look at them through there, you'd have to bring up that config file and look at them yourself. Make sure just to save the file. That is something that is very important when you mess with it. Make sure to save it. But again, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to tell your friends. But y'all take care. And I will catch you next time.